with fall here in central New York. Dreaded allergy season is too. News Channel 9's Jeremy Skiba with advice on dealing with the sniffles and sneezes that come with a changing season. As the leaves start turning those crisp shades of orange and brown, so does the seasonal effect of allergies. We're tapering down from grass season then rearing up in terms of ragweed and weed season as the fall hits. Uh, a lot of times the pollen counts can depend highly on humidity levels. On a warm day like today, don't be surprised if your allergies start acting up. The fall allergy season comes to a close once those colder temperatures roll in. Once you see the frost uh, settle on the ground, then the temperatures drop to that extent. You tend to have some suppression of seasonal allergies in terms of ragweed trees, grasses, and things of that nature. Dr. Marzouk says washing your nose with saline and taking allergy medicines are two common ways to help alleviate symptoms, but says limiting exposure is the key. If you tend to like to run in the morning, you might want to change your mind. Pollen counts tend to be highest towards 7 to 10 a.m. or mid-morning. And so you want to try and kind of maybe mitigate that by getting your outdoor exposure in a different part of the day. Allergies aren't the only nasty thing that starts spreading during autumn. You can expect to see an increase in viruses, the flu, and COVID-19. Signs of those illnesses differ from allergies. Sometimes if you're heading towards a bacterial infection, the color or nature of the things that are dripping out of your nose can change. And of course, fever and pain are indicators that you might have something more than just allergies going on. Preventing allergies from ruining your fall fun. In Fayetteville, Jeremy Skiba, News Channel 9.